In this video, I'm gonna be attempting to push masters with only using bad brawlers. Now to make sure I wasn't cheating by picking my own list of bad brawlers, I had to use somebody else's list and where better to look than Kairos' tier list videos. And for this list, I'm going to be only using the C tier brawlers and below. So now that we have our bad brawlers, it's time to hop in some games and let's get masters. Then we got our first map here, double swoosh, and a pick that used to be really good here was Tara. However, Tara kind of fell off in the meta, but I thought why not give it a try this first game around and while the first game didn't go so well, they ended up killing Iron Gem Carrier, walking away with all the gems. I meant we lost the first game. However, this was just our first game of the day. The next game, we made Tara look like Tara was the best brawler on this map. And with that team wipe and clutch plays, we managed to win game two. <laughs> I knew that was going to work. Oh, I got them both. I got all of them. Come on. The prediction. Oh, this is a good first game. This is a good first game. Come on. I'm like, I'm doing it to him. Now game three, I may have messed up pretty bad. Luckily it wasn't enough for us to lose the game. I messed up. Oh, please come on Spike, clutch this. I'll tank that for you. And that meant we were gonna grab our first win of the push, bringing us closer to Legendary 3. Our very next game we had was on Safe Zone, and while we had a very weird draft with Lou, Colt, and Penny, but let me tell you, it worked like a charm. Not only were we clipping with Colt, but our Lou completely shut down their offense, so that meant we grabbed another epic win. Then our next game, we grabbed another epic win with Jesse on Beach Balls. So at this point, things were going great. We were feeling really confident that the push was going to go pretty smoothly, but boy, I was wrong. Our next game was on Canal Grande, probably our worst map in the entire Power League rotation. And we picked Barley, and Barley's actually a really solid pick here. But unfortunately, we also had a Nita pick on our team that didn't really end up working well. And so we lost our game on Canal. And I bet you guys can see a trend because the next game after that, was another loss. So at this point, I realized the push was gonna be pretty long and painful. So if you guys enjoy these types of grinds, make sure you guys subscribe and like right now. We have more games to play. Now, even though we were losing our last couple games, the chat dared me to play Shelly on double swoosh. And even though I thought we were probably gonna lose this one again, it didn't really quite work out that way. This is looking good. <laughs> I'm just gonna bully these two. They can deal with the mortis, right? I'm having some fun, honestly. Dude, he's running. Stop running from me. Guys? Oh, wait, we, we team wipe him here. We team wipe. Okay, he got pulled three times, but. Bingo. I'm gonna do that too. Gonna shoot. <laughs> Is that toxic? I think that's considered toxic. I think that's considered toxic. Guys? <laughs> Is it a pull? Okay. I, I want it, but. Okay, now I grab it. Oh, this game is going in the video for sure. Are they just rolling? I don't know. Get us that epic win. You're After that nice win, we started to win go. again until we kind of panic picked a Chester on Kaboom. Why did I go Chester? Guys. And while my teammate Gladiator wasn't very happy about that and went AFK game two and shot at me the whole time. So needless to say, we lost that game, but we wouldn't be quite done with Gladiator just yet. The very next game was a special one and it all started with an insanely weird 1v3. Oh, what is, what is happening in my game? Come on, what is happening? Can someone explain to me? Like he wins now. He almost lost. What is happening? What? And then come to find out the Brock who was throwing was... It's Gladiator. <laughs> it's that 
guy, bro. Can I report him? Yes. Get this guy banned. <laughs> Get him out of here, bro. But with all that nonsense out of the way, it actually brought us to Legendary 3, and that meant it was the end of Day 1. Now day two started off hot as we went on a pretty big win streak. The first game we won with Byron on a cute angle. The second game we popped off with Colt and grabbed an epic win. Third game we had a close win with Jesse on beach ball. And then we had another epic win with Nanny on safe zone. So now we were on a four game win streak and chat dared me to play Edgar on Bell's Rock. But I also want to note this is Edgar before the update, meaning Edgar was probably the worst brawler at this time. Now the first game kind of went expected. We lost, but it was pretty close. But the next two games were a little bit wild. Yeah, we're walking up, dude. He has a 3k though. I mean, this is kind of... I did good. I did pretty good there. Alright, I mean, I got two kills. I did have to use two gadgets, but I'm going to just patiently wait for this one. We get supers here, boys. Nice. Winnable. Winnable. Win All of this. I mean, I guess it's not really impossible. Trevor. <gasps> I'm trolling. Never mind. Not trolling. We're cooking. One more. Yeah, what are you doing thinking I won't jump you? Give me it. Let's go, chat. <laughs> That's going on the thumbnail, bro. We're sprawler in the game. And we get star player. And with that crazy win, we pass the halfway mark to mass. Now, unfortunately, our luck wouldn't continue since we basically lost all of our next games. We even ended up playing Frank on Bell's Rock as the last game of the day, but we also lost that. So that brought us all the way back to basically the start of Legendary 3. And basically day two, we gained zero progress. See you tomorrow. Now going into day three, I actually pushed a lot off stream to make sure that I was going to be able to hit master today. Now there was a lot of wins and losses off screen, but I did have this one six clutch with Nanny that I did really want to show you guys. Um, but let me, so look at these guys. All right. So little do they know, look at this. They start, they start spinning on me too. And this was like not looking well for us. All right. So. You might think, how, how am I possibly going to win this? I also didn't think I was going to win this, but I had TP <laughs> and now I still should die here, but I sniped them. I sniped them. Day three started out extremely slow. It felt like every win was followed by a loss until this wild game with Bull on Kaboom Canyon. Where's that little? Nice. Not that is a tough game. Now, after that win, we needed one to two more games to get to Masters, and we could just taste the victory. The next game was going to be Jesse on center control, and we were base racing, and I kind of made a huge, huge mistake. Please tell me that hits. Oh my goodness. The turret sucks. The t I'm so bad. There's no way the turret does not hit from there. There's no freaking way. Dude, I'm so sad. We win this game if the turret hits. Come on, dude. Now, even with that crucial mistake, luckily enough, we still managed to win, meaning that we were now finally one game away. Now, for the last game, the chat wanted me to play a brawler that I hadn't played already on the list of bad brawlers. And for some reason, I did let them convince me, and that meant we were going to be playing Buster.
Nice. No, I tried to save the bell, but the bell died anyway. <sighs> Brawl TV last game too. He just doing work on this BB. Nice. Nice. Flash me. Nice, they're so low. Nice! Don't panic here, Corey. Nice. Nice, we're healing. Nice. Nice, put it in. I'll take it. Nice. Nice, it's it. This is it. This is it. Let's go, dude. And there you guys go. We got masters with only using these bad brawlers. If you guys enjoyed these grinds, please make sure to like and subscribe. Helps me out a ton. And I know you want to see more. So either way, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.